Well, it's Christmas morning. Got up at 6 a.m. bright and early to open gifts. And you know what ballistic got me? I mean, all I asked for was a few Game Boy games from my Game Boy. You know what he got me? HDX Disinfectant Spray. HDX All-Purpose Cleach with All-Purpose Cleaner with Bleach. I haven't had my drinks yet. And he got me HDX Wet Mop. Whip. Sorry, HDX Wet Mop Cloths. It's too early to do this, y'all. But look at all this crap. And he even got me this broom. Golly. He trying to give me a little hint hint or something? That little scoundrel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make him a special brew later. You're going to have to wait until next year to figure out what it was. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Treat people right. Don't do this, this crap. I'm a good roommate. I pay rent at least every few months. Ho, ho, ho. So, uh, it's no surprise, um, I guess, uh, this is my uh, December Unboxed special. Um, so, um, yep, yeah, one more time in 2022. So, um, I have some stuff I want to show you. Um, I just got this huge box today, um, and this is something that I actually, um, I... I'm into ham radio and shortwave radio and just radios in general. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of you know that. I'm a ham radio technician myself. I have them for the past few years, and um, I just love it. I also love dabbling with, uh, you know, shortwave radios um, and just regular radios. So, anyway, so I sold a couple that I kind of didn't want in my collection, and I purchased this. So this was on sale. I saw um, on of all websites, um, I think it was like Home Depot or Lowe's, um, and I didn't even know they sold stuff like this. But I saw it one day, and I had to buy it, as it were. So, <clears throat> let's, oh, almost dropped it. Crap, don't want to drop it. So this is a very cool device. Um, it is not gaming related, uh, but radio related. So, here we go. And some of you might, you won't even know, I'm not sure. No one's gonna know what this is <laughs> until I pull it out. Um, I got the Eton Elite 750. Um, this is a really cool um, radio. Uh, it's got um, all kinds of bands. It's got AM, FM, stereo, shortwave, aircraft band radio with SSB. So there are lots of good reviews on this. It's obviously a premium uh, tabletop shortwave radio uh, with many other functions. And um, I've also seen reviews where it had shortcomings. So on the receiver side. So what I want to do is unbox this and take a look at it. Um, and for those of you out there that are also into ham radio and shortwave, please comment, uh, subscribe. I would love to see you on the channel. Um, I definitely want to dig more into these in the future because I love radios. Um, not as much as I love gaming, but I love radios. It's one of my, um, it's one of my hobbies, I should say. Oops, there's another tab over here. Let's cut that. Scissors here. 
So I'm excited to use this. Um, and it's supposed to be kind of a powerhouse. So let's take a look. So this part comes off. So let me just say, as I take this off, um, it says Eton Elite 750. Now, Grundig used to make this. Um, and Eton, uh, I guess, bought them out or something happened. They put their name on it. So I guess it's theirs now. Um, I don't know a lot about that. So uh, it says AM FM stereo shortwave aircraft band radio with SSB. AM FM aircraft band 117 to 137 megahertz and shortwave 1711 to 30,000 kilohertz. Set 9 to 10 kilohertz AM tuning. Set FM tuning range single sideband SSB. 360 degree rotate AM antenna. Auto tuning storage function for ATS for FM, AM, and shortwave. 1,000 station memories, each band 100 memories, 500 customizable. Wow. Line and socket can be used as speaker for MP3. Uh, power source is ACDC 6 volt power supply. Uh, dimensions are 14.65 inches times 7.24 inches, blah, blah, blah. The weight is 7.1 pounds. Accessories, owner's manual, and warranty card are included. So I can't wait to take this out and show you. Now one thing about this radio, I'm going to test it out. If I'm not 100% satisfied, I might return it. Um, I don't know. Because um, it is one of the pricier models. Right? Um, and I did sell um, three radios to get this one. That I already had similar radios as the ones I sold. So it's not really a loss for me. But um, yeah, just want to know. I just want to let you know this has a warranty, so I can return it, you know, to the store if I'm not 100% satisfied. I take advantage of that all the time. Um, uh, you know, if I don't like something, if I'm not in love with something, uh, I will send it back. So now this thing is a little hard to open right here, and I don't want to tear it up in case I do return it. So let me try to get this out here. Really fussy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So when we open this up, we've got a um, little owner's manual here. Elite 750 in many languages from what I hear. And we also have this um, interesting CQ review, the Eton Elite 750 shortwave receiver. Uh, and uh, yeah, kind of marketing, but kind of talks about the system here, gives a little review of it. So interesting. And let me just see here, my computer's close to dying, so keep an eye on it. So when you pull this out, here is the piece de resistance, or whatever they say, right here. And that's pretty much everything that's in here. And we got the adapter there. And here it is, the Eton Elite 750. So excited to get this. Um, it is one of the um, nicer radios you can buy right now, I think, as far as looks go. And here it is. I always have to smell everything when I get it. So this is the Eton Elite 750. Um, it does need to be plugged in. Um, it does have, here's the antenna for medium wave here. Um, we got dial and I uh, can't wait to plug this thing in. I've got a table full of stuff here to show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So um, before I start, I'm playing Pi Pi back here. Popeye, Popeye. I, don't, I always think I say it wrong, but playing it on the Atari, um, uh, God, which one is this one? This is the... I've just completely lost my mind. The 130XE <laughs> over here. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's sitting up there on top of my 1200XL, which is keeping the keyboard depressed because the keyboard gets stuck sometimes. So that keeps the keyboard actively pressed. So weird, I know. Uh, do what you got to do. So... Got the bright light off in front of my face because it bothers me and my eyes have been bothering me. So I got my glasses on. So hence the darker lighting. Anyway, glad you're back. So this is going to be kind of the last bit of this special. Um, got a table full. Let's get started. 
So recently, um, this has been sitting on my kitchen table for a while. I got this recently at, um, I don't think I've talked about it, at Noble Gaming locally. It's Carnival for the Intellivision by Coleco and, uh, and by Sega, by two companies. Um, so I got this in the box for five bucks, CIB, not bad. Uh, ready, aim, fire. It's the closest thing you'll ever find to an old-fashioned shooting gallery. You'll blast away at a wide variety of moving targets as you test your markmanship and skill. Track them down, line them up your shots, and fire at will. But use each bullet wisely because your ammunition is limited. How many targets can you hit before you run out of bullets? Very fun. And this came um, with a manual, of course. Uh, which is kind of weird. Um, old school. Uh, talks about how to set up and everything. Basically, it just says in here what I read you as far as the intro. And, you know, just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, in the future, I'll have another uh, special with a television games on RTFM. Maybe a handful or so that I've got recently. This would definitely be one of them. So it's got everything in here, cart and everything. So awesome. So Carnival by Sega and Coleco and a bunch of other companies. So I recently also got, oh, that's what I got today. So let me show you that in a minute. So first things first, I went shopping yesterday for Christmas. And this is one of the things I got for my mom, maybe. It is a Better Homes and Gardens fragrance warmer. I thought that was really pretty. She likes the color green. So, and I got her um, some Fireside Fur and Amber to go with it. It smells like a Christmas tree. It smells so good. I love it. Anyway, I got that from my dear old mom. And she, I think she'll like it. She likes stuff like this. She has a new bed coming in January that she's excited about. So that we got, my sister got for. Her. So um, let's see what order to do this stuff in. Let me just okay. I'm gonna see for a minute. So I went thrifting today, and I got this stuff. I'm gonna try to show you in the order I got it. So I stopped by Noble Gaming locally. I went to a health fair earlier uh, for literacy. It was like a book fair with free books for families, and so. I had a table there and I ran by Noble Gaming. And I got a couple of things I didn't have in my collection. I got POW, Prisoners of War, or Prisoner of War, uh, Prisoners of War by SNK for the NES. Not bad. Um, I got it for a little cheaper than that because I had a small trade. So I don't think I played this. I think I saw it online and realized I didn't have it in my collection. So really cool. Another game I got was uh, this in the box for the Game Boy Advance for $4.99. It's X Games Skateboarding by ESPN and Konami. Uh, this CIB in the box, of course. Um, and it says in the back, um, uh, it just says, Go big at the X Games. Eight top pros. Uh, Bud Bernquist, Rick McCrank, Colin McKay, Chris Sin, Carrie, Carrie Getz, Chad Fernandez, Carlos De Andrade, and Lincoln Veda. And this came out in 2001. Wow, 21 years old now. Can't believe it. So this came in the box, of course. Um, they had a few of these games for $5. You know, not really popular games for the advance, but, you know, it's got the cart with it. And it's got the manual with it, of all things. It's really cool. So I actually do like the Game Boy Advance manuals. They're full color. I mean, you never see this stuff nowadays. It's crazy. Um, it's got the real people in here, I guess. So interesting. So not a super famous game, but, um, you know, $5 CIB, I'll take it, right? Anytime I see things that are that price. Now, there was another one for five, for four nine nine, but it was like a kitty game, like, sushi something i don't even know but i got this instead so not bad right so um yeah and i got that too i love going to noble gaming such a fun place they're always nice um, so okay after that i went thrifting a little bit and i got some things so, and i got something i already have actually <laughs> um i'll I guess i'll show you that first and I'm, i might give it away as a gift i got star trek the next generation for uh first season now, I, I actually have this. I didn't realize I got it for cheap, too. I got this box set for like five bucks, and it's wrapped. CCIB. Might be giving that to a friend of mine. Great series. I don't know why I got it again. I just wasn't thinking. I just saw it was a good deal, I guess. So the next things I got were, um, now, now these are on the clearance table. I got Dido, No Angel. Um, of course, uh, this has got Here With Me on it and all that. 
was like a dollar fifty, so I picked it up. Not bad. Uh, cool album from twenty something years ago. Um, I also got this band here, Dutton, The Surface. Uh, I noticed in the back that they made this in Dallas, where I'm from. So they probably played in Dallas, and I saw it for a dollar. I was like, sure. Um, I pick it, and I, I like the little lettering. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be good. I have no idea. So I'll try it and report back, hopefully. So Dutton, The Surface. Uh, I, don't, I don't see a date on it either. Uh, but anyway, you'll listen to it later. So I also found these just for around the house. I got Murphy's. Naturals mosquito repellent candles, DEET free plant based. There are twelve mosquito repellent tea light candles. So I'm gonna I'm, I saw these for like two ninety nine. I was like sure. They're old school. They still smell. They smell fresh. So I got it. Not bad. So something else I also got. Um, I got a couple of things for my set back here, and this is actually broken. It was a, like a dollar. I got this little thing here from like a kid's nursery, and it's got and it's got lights in it. See, um, and but I put battery in here. I got home and it didn't work. But I thought that would be cool for the set if I got lights in it. So I'm gonna see if my friend Rick or someone can help me fix it. Little rainbow there. Um, I also got something else that I might be using in the future for this show, <laughs> I got a new uh, little Ken doll. His shirt says, love Callie. What a poser, look at that guy. Um, he's got even has shoes on. But anyway, uh, thought that might be funny to introduce later. I don't know, I'm weird. It was cheap. And I usually end up donating those things to shelters when I'm done doing whatever I'm doing with them, the unbox skits and everything, so. Um, so, I got a couple things in the mail today. I'll show you one of these first. Um, just so some, just so you guys know, I'll cover my address. I am a coffee lover. Um, I got 80 uh, K cups of donut shop blend from Black Point. This is like $30 um, at Home Depot, so not bad. Got that for myself because I go through a lot of coffee. And I um, don't have a lot of time, so it's easier just to make that, you know. So this also came in the mail today. And this is going to fit in pretty good with this episode, um, in all honesty, uh, since I was talking about the Chinese knockoffs. That's kind of a clue to what this is. Now, I saw this on eBay, and it was only $10, um, plus like a little bit of shipping, like 3 or $4, so not bad. So I got this for like $13. I think that's all it's worth. Um, I did see a review or two before I got it, and they said it was not that great. So, but it does involve gaming. And it is. Here we go. It's the My Arcade Game Station Wireless um, with Data East games on it. Now, I have heard this is not that great. Um, it does have a few Data East games where the controllers are tiny, wonky. There are a lot of this fake little Chinese knockoff games on here, too, like the other My Arcade systems. I showed you these before. Um, here's the one that didn't work that I was telling you about. And here's the other Gamer 5 that's also Data East. So these things are both kind of the same. But this has 220 games and this is 300 games and it's a console. So very, very similar products. Isn't that interesting that they put out? Um, so I showed you this before. And this is the new one. So um, it says here includes 300 retro inspired games plus... Eight Data East Classic titles. I'm glad they said retro inspired, so they're not kind of lying to people. That's actually good M marketing, so they don't get in trouble, right? So it says here, um, uh, my arcade has teamed up with legendary game developer Data East for a new line of portable handhelds. We are proud to present such classic titles as Burger Time, Karate Champ, Bad Dudes, and more. Very neat. They also have the little many portables of a lot of these games available too, like the little mini arcades I showed you like last year. So I think it was Attack of the Mini Arcades on Unbox. Go watch that. At least I think it was an Unboxed. It may have been a regular series, I'm not sure, but just search for it, you'll find it. So I'm gonna um, be taking a deeper look at this in the future, but it's got Heavy Barrel, Burger Time, uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless remote, Bad Dudes, Plug and play console with wireless controllers from my arcade. Like I said, I know it's not the best, but I got this 
for a really good deal. Now the features say here, pack with 300 retro games plus eight memorable Data East titles, eight bit game system, 2.4 gigahertz wireless RF controllers, powered by the included mini USB cable or four AA batteries not included. Wow, you can put batteries in it too, I like that. Controllers require six triple A batteries not included. Wow. Includes Game Station Wireless, two controllers, USB power cable, AV cable, and user guide. It's also got this in French and German and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, on the back, it's got Side Pocket, B-Wings, Breakthrough, Heavy Barrel, Karate Champ, Burger Time, Caveman, uh, Ninja, and Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. Um, so, yeah, very neat. So I'll show you this definitely more in the future when I've got time to play with it. And... Is that everything I wanted to show you? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, my sister sent me this. I think it's a Christmas card of her and her family. It is. So, oh my God, that's adorable. So I can't, I don't want to, I want to keep them private though. But I will show you um, one more thing. If I've got it over here. Okay, just two small things. Um, so I haven't shown you this yet. So me and my sisters went to this bar for her birthday in Dallas when I filmed the November unbox, I think episode 29. And the bar was called Swizzle. It was like a tiki bar in Dallas. And so my sister picked up these little cups here. She got one for each of us because we were like, we really want one of those. And basically it says, uh, um, Dallas Tiki Week. Very neat. Uh, I love that little tiki glass. And this was a really cool bar. Um, the drinks came with umbrellas and stuff. Of course, I kept those and a couple of them. And they came with a little swizzle stick here. See, and the bar is called Swizzle. So this says Swizzle on it here. Very neat. Um, yeah, and I broke the other one. But um, so I got this little cup. And I also, there's this, don't, there's this new coffee shop near my sister's house in Dallas called La La Land. And I kept the cup for that. It's plastic, but it's kind of reusable. It's kind, the La La Land Kind Cafe. So they actually, when you order, after you order something in the drive-thru, I mean, first of all, the whole place is yellow. So when you pull up, uh, they take your order, and they're like, love you. And you're like, and then you go and pull up, and there's little signs going up to the window saying, have a special day. You're a great person you know, you shit gold or whatever. And then whenever you check out and leave, the woman in, or whoever in the window is like, thank you, love you. And you're just like, and when you drive away, there's a sign saying love you in yellow. So I think it's kind of a cool concept, but just imagine if like your ex worked there or something and had to say love you to you or you know what I mean? And then you might have a creepy guy saying it. I don't know. It seems like a weird idea, but I actually like it and they have great drinks. So, um, I just hope it's not too on PC. I don't know. I just feel like someone could get hurt. <laughs> but it's a great little coffee shop. So check out La La Land Kind Cafe if you're in Dallas. Okay. I think that's everything. Go get your swizzle on. Hey there, so I got a big package today. Well, kind of big. Um, so, I'm gonna open this up here. I think I know what this is. And I think it's shortwave radio related maybe. Could be wrong. Let's take a peek and find out. Blah. Got a couple of things coming. Let's see. I think this is what I think it is. Let's see. Yes, it is. Anyway, sorry, I thought I heard the doorbell. Um, this is the Radio Shack Triple Trunking. Uh, it is the, um, let's see. Don't see a model number. 
on here. But anyway, <clears throat> I used to have a larger one of these. And what this is cool, cool for is <clears throat> just searching the radio waves, searching shortwave, CB, aircraft, everything. So you can't communicate on this. Uh, it's not two way, it's one way. You hear everything else. So uh, I've been wanting one of these again. I used to have, like I said, the larger version of this. Um, I thought this was the larger version. Apparently it's there's a smaller one too. I had no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna test it out, make sure it works. Um, but as you can see, it's fully featured there. You can tune into just about anything locally and sometimes far away as well. What I really like about this is you can kind of sneak in on CB aircraft, uh, ham radio, everything. So um, emergency services. So this is cool to have for my little ham shack room upstairs. Um, and we also have the adapter here. So good to have that. So I'm gonna test this out, make sure it's everything I think it is. Um, let me know what you think. I'm all set. So I got a few unboxings I want to do, or a few unveilings I want to do of stuff I picked up. Um, only got a few, like two or three minutes in this episode, so I'm gonna hurry. So went out today. Um, it's December 12th. I was doing some Christmas shopping and found this stuff along the way. So um, anyway, here it goes. So I stopped at um, Gamers Anonymous to get a gift for a friend, and um, I got this stuff for myself too. Um, so first thing I saw was in the clearance bin, they had tank games, I'm sorry, tank plus, what am I saying, for the Atari 2600. This was the Sears version, basically of combat, I believe. And, uh, yeah, it was like $2.95. So that's a card from my collection. It was one of the ones I didn't have yet. And I also found this in, um, on the wall for sale and it's a Nintendo game. It comes in a Nintendo cover, which is nice. And can't wait to show this to you. And um, it is Thunder and Lightning by Romstar. This is one I didn't have, didn't even know about. I saw it online. It kind of looks like Arkanoid a little bit or something, or Off the Wall by Atari. But a really cool game. I think I'm going to have Ape at Bubba play this um, sometime soon. So stay tuned for that. It'll be fun. So in the clearance, in the free bin actually I found that's all I got there but at the free bin as I was leaving I saw this Starcraft um, Wings of Liberty by Blizzard who Activision bought eventually and when you open it up it's like war is coming with all its glory now I'm sure if this was in the clearance bin it means it probably wasn't the best game ever um, I don't see a date on this but I'll put the information on the screen this is for um, Looks like this is for Windows XP, Windows 7, or Macintosh, or Windows Vista. So, um, it's, and it's also, it's got the label on it still, like it's sealed. Crazy. Oh, it's open at the bottom. Okay. <coughs> I haven't even looked in this. It was free. So, looking in here, we have the original CD. Nice. We have, the, wow, we have the booklet for it. We've got some guest passes here. Really neat. Oh, a lot of guest passes. So really, really cool. So um, for World of Warcraft. So that was StarCraft. Very neat computer game for free. Can't beat it. So I went down the street. I was doing some book shopping and I found this stuff. Um, these were only a dollar a piece. I got Arthur C. Clarke's The Lion of Kamari and Against the Fall of Night. Um, kind of a cool sci-fi book. I also found this cool thing by Jimmy Hatlow. I'm really old from the 50s. More, they'll do it every time. So, <laughs> really cool. I love these books. Um, got some cool comics in there. And last but not least, I got this book on New Mexico, where I live. Um, this was a dollar too. Kind of shows the history of the state and the area and full of pictures and just really neat. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, can't wait to play some Thunder and Lightning. Hey guys, before I go, I want to show you something from work I got today. So we have this thing at my work called Cookies with the Counselors, because we have counselors at work. 
um, in my department. So they made some cookies and I just wanted to show you these cookies. They're freaking amazing. I got a lot. So we got a sugar cookie. Now they, they get progressively awesome. We got a chocolate chip cookie. We got a chocolate mint cookie there. We've got this little cute thing here. We've got some fudge, which is freaking amazing. This fudge is to die for. Um, we got this little uh, Christmas chocolate cookie there with the candy on it. We got this one here. I don't know what it is, but it looks mighty tasty. It's red, maybe red velvet. And that was the first plate in here. And we got some also little cookies here uh, that are actually really good. So um, now in here we also have this little brownie. We also have mm, we also have some Chex Mix here, some chocolate Chex Mix. I've also got this little one here. I also have this little snowman cookie here. Can you see that? Amazing. I also have this uh, German chocolate brownie. I also have, oh, there's another plate in here. I also have um, this pumpkin loaf here. And if you can see that, I've got a thumbnail or a thumbprint and this one here. So I got all these freaking cookies, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I can eat them before Ape It Bubba gets home. Just once he gets here, he'll have the munchies and they'll all be gone. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, have a fantastic holiday. I appreciate you all. <laughs> Get your munchies on for the holidays. Hey guys, what's going on? It's BCB. So um, this episode, uh, as we close out 2022, um, I wanted to go over a few of my favorite things from 2022. Um, I was just about to leave for um, Dallas, which is what I'm doing in this video here, driving to a uh, the Bishop Cidercade about 10 months ago in February of earlier this year, um, uh, which I love doing, but um, I had so many good memories of this past year. Um, this isn't going to be a clip show. I'm just going to talk about some of my favorite memories. Some of them are spending time with my family, as you see here. Um, other memories are playing games on the Atari VCS that um, <clears throat> have made life enjoyable. You know, um, I just got Gun Tech 2 yesterday, and I freaking love it. I love Sir Love Lot. Never played it before. Um, so I'm experiencing these games and Heroes of Loot. Um, but yeah, just so many memories to talk about, so many good things. Um, this isn't going to be a long one. I just want to talk about a few of the things I liked for this year. So um, yeah, so in this episode, uh, it's just going to be a quick little best of um, things I really, I shouldn't say best of, the things I really loved in 2022 as far as products goes and games goes so um it wouldn't be um a atari 50th year right um if i didn't talk about this game here atari mania um atari mania has really it's really made uh an impression on me this year Whenever we didn't know what the future of Atari 50 looked like, you know, um, we had this game. And I don't want this game to get forgotten because I really do think it's a great game for Atari fans and um, I recommend it. Um, it's a great game in the Atari VCS store. Definitely get it. If you're seeing this before that sale is over for the holidays, definitely get it. Um, I think it's worth it. Um, I think it's a great game. It pays a uh, homage to um, Atari, you know, um, and it's really just a fun game, you know, um, and as you can see here, I'm still stuck on the third floor if you played this game, but I just, just because I haven't been able to play it, I've been so busy with school and work. So yeah, so it's definitely a great game to get. Um, I highly recommend it. Okay. Um, if you have the funds, check it out. If you're an Atari fan, I think you'll like it. 
So another thing I got this year, aside from that great game, was were, were a couple of physical items that I talked about. Um, probably the coolest one of those so far is the Atari Flashback Gold. Now I saw John Hancock talk about this thing, and I was scared to send off for it, and you know, because it's in Europe somewhere weird. The first time I tried to order, it didn't take my credit card, and I realized that it was just the type of credit card it was, so I used a different one, and I ordered it, and I'm glad I did. Um, it was a hundred bucks plus shipping um, from Europe, somewhere in Italy or Germany, I can't remember, um, France maybe, but uh, but yeah. I was just so excited to get this and see that it was a real thing because I saw a picture of this two or three months ago and I had a news line out about it saying, is this real? Maybe two months ago. It wasn't that long ago. And um, when I got this thing, I mean, I just, I just fell in love with it. It's so good. Um, it's got Activision and a magic games on there. Unlike Atari 50, nothing there's anything wrong with Atari 50, but uh, yeah. So um, it's great. Um, I've been playing the hell out of it. Got it hooked up back here. You might even be able to see it like right there. <laughs> if you can see that down there, that's it. Right here. That's my flashback 50 right there. Um, that's what I call it. I know that's not the name, but that's what I call it. It's, it's got too much, the name's too long. I mean, look at that. So um, fantastic, definitely get this. Um, it's got home brews on it, but two or three. Um, it's got uh, prototypes on it. It's got regular games on it, and it's all Atari 2600 in all of its glory. So if you can see that, I'll hold it up. <laughs> it's some fantastic games, you know. Uh, but yeah, definitely one of my must-buys for 2022 is the Atari 50, Atari Flashback Gold 50th Anniversary Edition with the 130 games, two paddles, and two controllers. I mean, it's just such a good deal, right? So this thing here, you guys, the Retro Champ by My Arcade. Uh, I saw a lot of reviews on this uh, the past past few weeks, and I got one of my own. And I have to say, I freaking love it. Now, yeah, the screen's not perfect, but you could literally play any Nintendo or Famicom game down below. This came out, I think, two or three years ago. I just now kind of discovered it. Um, I love it. So um, it's just great. It's got even got cleaning utensils in the back of it. It's just crazy. And a stand, and you can play it. They come with these controllers if you get the deluxe pack. Here I am playing Life Force. But yeah, just a fantastic device. I really love it. It's become one of my favorite things of 2022 for sure, even though it's old, older. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, so the next thing I got that, that was physical I'm wearing right now. Um, it's my Atari speaker hat. Now, I'd seen these things, uh, you know, all over the place. Um, it was kind of laughable, you know, but I mean, look at it. It's nice. I love the Fuji logo on it. It feels nice. It's raised. Ooh la la. Um, it, I really like it. It's got, it does have the speakers built in. Now, on the blue one I have, which is up there, um, it's more pronounced. On this one, the speakers are... You know, it's harder to see them, so you can wear this out without it looking too weird, right? And the great thing is it works great as a speaker. I'm using it right now as a mic. Um, at, well, as a microphone. Um, because you can take calls with it, and you can talk with it in your computer. Um, now, when I'm doing an interview for that Atari show, I can't use it because it'll echo. So you have to be mindful. It can echo as well. So, like, if you're um, playing a game and doing a stream, or, yeah, not a good situation... This is really just good for recording one video because right now it's it's capturing everything right now. So on a you know, without any other interference. So anyway, uh, fantastic. I got this now. I got this one for $39. Um, oh wait, I'm just sorry, I get the blue one for $39. This one I paid $69 for or something. It was the Black Friday deal, not the better cyber week deal. But I got my blue one for 39. So, uh, but this is worth 60 to me. You know, I love it. It looks good. It actually does have the logo on the back. Um, whenever it's on, you get a little indicator there. See, and I'm talking at it right now, but um, yeah, it's just, it's so great. I love it. God, my hair's a mess. So I recommend the Atari speaker hat. Definitely. It's, it's one of my surprises really for 2022. So, let me grab something. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Um, I had to go grab some stuff. So, um, two more things I loved in 2022 is the C64 collection and the Always Awakening Cathedral collection for the Evercade. Um, it's no surprise to a lot of people. I'm a fan of the Evercade. Um, I do have some friends that are dear to me that don't like the Evercade as much as me, and that's fine. Um, not everyone has to like what I like because no one can be perfect like me, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, far from it, right? I'm far from perfect. But um, yeah, so different strokes, different folks. Some people like the Evercade, some people hate it or don't like it. Um, I like it because it's a physical media. Um, it's cartridges, it's manuals, it's about discovery and discovering games you never knew about, which is why I think these are two good examples. Um, C64 collection, um, it's kind of divisive with some Evercade fans. Some like it, some don't like it. I think it really has to do with if you, if you like 8-bit games. If you like 8-bit computer games, you'll like this. If you're not really into those, understandable. You might like something else like this. Um, so this is a cool one because All Was Awakening, the 8-bit edition. I never played that game, and I love it. It's got great sound, great graphics. It's like Zelda to me in some ways, some weird ways. I really, really like it. Um, it's a little platformer. And Cathedral, a um, very, very popular game right now. Um it's a little too hard for me. I don't have the patience for a cathedral. I don't think. Um, I, I just I don't like it as much as some other people. It's fine. It's a great game, but Always Awakening and, and and I know this is an unpopular opinion. Really takes my breath away. So I love this one. So another. Um, I've got three more things to show you. Um, so some books this year I really loved. I'm still reading this, but I love it. Once Upon Atari by Howard Scott Warshaw. Fantastic book. I talked about this in Unbox quite a bit this year. Um, it's great. Yeah, How I Made History by Killing an Industry. It's all about um, the old Atari days, the smoke in the hallways, the wood paneled walls, the shag carpeting, the ET, the landfill in, in Alamogordo. I mean, it's just Atari culture right here. You owe it to yourself to pick up a copy of this. I got mine um, uh, at a bookstore locally, but you could find and just by chance by looking at the spines. But you could find this um, on eBay, on his website. I would recommend you go to his website if you can. It looks like it's um, SWP Publishing, maybe. Um, I don't even know. Uh, it is Scott West Productions. So 2020. Fantastic book. I love it. So another book I'm currently kind of getting into right now is 8-Bit Apocalypse, The Untold Story of Atari's Missile Command. This is a great book. I love it. Um, I just got into it. I'm about a quarter of the way through only, but um, I can tell I'm a slow reader. I can tell though it's going to be fantastic. Um, it's a fascinating deep dive into the making and cultural context of Missile Command. So the guy that made Missile Command had nightmares about the end of the world and just you know that it's it's lore, Atari lore out there for us fans, but it's true. So fantastic book. Um, talks about him having nightmares. Um, having anxiety about this game and just being obsessed with it. It's a really good book. So check it out. Last but not least, I want to tell you about a game that's changed my life and it's changed my year. Um, it's fantastic. You can probably see it already. It's Atari 50. So while it had a delayed Atari VCS launch, which I was dreading, um, it's a fantastic game. You know, um, I mean, I interviewed, um, digital eclipse for that um and uh it was just a great interview go check it out i'll put the link below um stephen frost great guy um i had no idea that he was so involved with sega um just because i'm not a big sega person you know just just top of chips fell was a nintendo guy i had no idea that he was in charge of sonic the hedgehog and um we didn't have enough time to talk about everything i wanted to ask him but he was such such a great guy for talking to me. So anyway, fantastic game. I love it. Um, I talked about it at length on this channel this year. But the gold um, steelbook edition for the Switch with the poster that um, Tim Lapatino, I found out, uh, helped create. Um, it's just a great game. And in fact, the cart isn't in here because it's on my Switch right now. I'm so glad that a BCS fans got to get this too this year. Um, this is my game of the year. It's my thing of the year as well. Um, I love Atari 50. Um, 
Now, there's one more thing that I got this year, aside from that fantastic game, that I want to end with, and it's it's just a fantastic piece. So come up with me upstairs. Let's go take a look. So, guys, I don't normally come up here anymore because um, I'm downstairs a lot, but this is my old bit lounge. Uh, I don't know if you remember it, but there's something in the corner over here. I don't even know if you can see that. Um, but I have no real lights in here to speak of. And I moved a light downstairs. Let's see. Okay, there, there we go. That's a little better. So one of the things down here that I wanted to remind you of was my Atari Lego set. I still haven't put it together. It's just sitting here with the free stuff it came with on top of my Vectrex down there. But um, that's one of my things I got this year that I also love. I haven't opened it. I haven't put it together. Obviously, it's still sitting there. I'm not sure if I will. It's kind of a piece of my collection that I like to keep just as is right now. So maybe someday I'll open it. But um, anyway, there it resides. So um, sorry I didn't have the, any of this ready to show you. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching BCB in 2022. The whole channel from Unboxed which I love making, to that Atari show, which has changed my life and I love making, and to RTFM, Read the Freaking Manual, and No Filter. Um, I've had such a great time this year. And I wanted to thank you guys for subscribing. Um, as you know, I recently reached 500 and it just really touched my heart. It was like the best gift ever this year. So thank you guys so much. Um, have a great holiday. Go out and get some of these things I showed you if, if possible. I've got a lot more things I love from this year, including video games monthly. But um, I'm just so thankful um, that you're watching my content. Some of you hopefully have enjoying it, and um, I really enjoy making it. So I'm looking forward to 2023. Sorry, 2023. Can't talk. I'm looking forward to 2023, and I'm looking forward to season three of BCB, which starts in early January. So, all right, have a great holiday. Much love. We'll see you soon. Bye guys. Get your job on. Play some Atari. Ho, ho, ho.